Hey guys, happy Monday, and I'm actually just going to jump right in today um, because I received a lot of requests and questions about how I made my uh, holsters for my Winter Soldier costume. So there's both leg holsters and then there's the one on the back. So um, I'm just going to jump right in and let's do this. I kind of find it hilarious that I'm so girly talking about how to make holsters on a Winter Soldier costume. So obviously you need to see what exactly the finished product looks like. So this is one of the three holsters. Um, this is the one that is on the left leg. This is the one that is on the right leg, which actually broke for me because this guy is really, really heavy. Um, it's a weighted gun, um, but you can see it has the two guns and the pocket for the knife. There's actually supposed to be another knife that I recently learned, so I gotta make, remake this guy anyway. So I'm gonna be adding the second knife to this. Uh, at some point. And then this is the back holster for the Scorpion. Uh, as you can see, it goes all the way around and it just, it has like a thing in the front and it just, it works. It works. So the base material on all of those holsters is exactly the same and I use a thing called Ava Foam. You may have seen these before in like the yoga aisle or the workout aisle of like Target or a Walmart or anything like that. I'm pretty sure this was like a, it's a four pack, and I think it costs like $15, if that. But here, you can clearly see that this was the outline for the back holster, and it is super de duper simple to cut. All you need is a long X-Acto knife, or a box cutter, or even a pair of scissors, but I don't recommend scissors unless maybe you're doing a curve, because it's just easier to get a nice straight even line with a box cutter and a ruler. Um, essentially, just line up the ruler and then use your X-Acto knife. This isn't an X-Acto knife. And just like press and cut it. Just to show you how simple this is to cut, like these are really crappy tiny scissors because I don't know where my big scissors are. So uh, yeah, I can just, and it literally cuts that easy. So really all you have to do is pattern out whatever your holster is going to look like, how big it is, make sure to measure on yourself on like either newspaper or some other scrap paper that you have. And you're just going to go ahead and transfer it onto this and then go ahead and cut it out. So you'll notice that on here, I don't know if you can see them as well, but there are these little like little jaggedy pieces running along and that's kind of how it's going to look when you cut it out with a box cutter or something. So once you have your piece cut out, you'll have like all these little stringy bits on it. And what I do is simply get a piece of sandpaper. I use like a hundred grit or something. Nothing crazy, tiny or crazy rough, just average grit. And go ahead and sand the edges smooth. Sometimes you may have to like pull a few pieces off here and there, totally fine. But you want to try to get that as smooth as possible before we start painting or doing anything crazy to the piece. Your other piece, like this one, is gonna have a place to hold the knife. And literally this is just crap foam that I've cut a long strip out and then it goes all the way around and then I put in a top piece just to cover on top. Literally, just crap foam. You can get it for like 30 cents. Any kind of craft store, Michaels, anything like that. Just crap foam and then I, I glued it on because it's really easy and craft foam's pretty awesome. The same goes with the detailing on the back holster. Um, in a lot of photos you can see that there's kind of like a design, it kind of like goes around. You really have to look at references where he's not wearing the scorpion. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a raised detail that's on the back and literally it's just craft foam again <laughs> because it's super simple to work with. Super de duper simple to work with. So you'll notice that your map board is completely flat, but if you want the bigger holster, the ones that has the two guns and the knife on it, and your back holster, um, I actually curved mine a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell, um, but I wanted to more shape my back and shape my leg because it kind of looks weird for something that big to just kind of stick out. And especially with the back holster, it's just a bit more comfortable if it's already kind of laying in a more curved angle. So what I did is actually just use a heat gun. Um, if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a very strong or be very patient hair dryer um, and just kind of heat 
across the pieces that you want to bend and kind of conform to whatever it is, your leg or your back, etc. The next step is to make it not look like there's a giant piece of foam on your leg. So just so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison, both are the same thing, but this one I have actually covered with a thing called Plasti Dip. So this is Plasti Dip. Um, it comes in black, white, and I think red, which is a little bit more difficult to find. But um, literally, it's super simple. I'm not gonna spray it in here because that would be bad. But it essentially works like a spray paint. You shake it up for a little bit, and then you kind of do a few coats, let it dry, and then do a few more coats. And essentially, you're gonna build up this nice plasticky finish um, right on your foam, and it's gonna work splendid. So mine was all just done with the black Plasti Dip. And you can also use a sealer afterwards so it doesn't scuff. I didn't because I was lazy and I ran out of time because I'm a big procrastinator. Yay! But Plasti Dip is a great tool to use on not just foam but clays and other things that you want a more plastic kind of looking surface. And it gives a nice shine as well. This stuff is pretty cheap. I don't remember the exact cost but you can usually find it at most hardware stores, Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that will sell these. So for the simple holster, after that I just kind of measured out where I wanted the straps to go for this and use a really good super glue um, to keep down the elastic on the back. Nothing fancy. This is a strap I actually took off of a knife set that I used for the back knives that he has. Um, those actually had straps that you could like put on a belt, but I didn't need them like that, so I just seam ripped them off and then glued it onto here, which was very convenient. For this one, I added my own strap that I made. Um, you can buy these little things for backpacks for like a dollar each. And then these are just like the really thick straps that you can also find at fabric stores. They're by the yard. And I literally just um, cut out a little sliced a hole and threaded the fabric through and then I sewed on the back side. For the back holster, there are actually a couple of these tiny eyelets that I've added in. And I literally just used, um, I think I used like a sharp pen or my seam ripper. Kind of made a little hole, used a bit of hot glue and just poked those right through. But the straps are all made exactly like the other straps. Um, I used an eyelet thing. An eyelet thing. <laughs> To, to punch the holes in the straps and it all kind of fastens around and I have a couple of snaps and it goes through that little loop-de-doop on the front of me. And yeah, that's essentially it. But yeah, that was, uh, that's exactly how I made the, all the holsters. Um, like I said, they're actually incredibly simple. It's mostly about figuring out the pattern and the size of everything you need to do before you transfer all that over to the foam and then do the little details in craft foam and then spraying it all with the plastic tip. Super simple, super cheap. The Ava foam packs are probably the most expensive item, but you get so much that you're gonna have leftovers and you can reuse them for who knows what other pro projects you might have. So I know this is already running long, so I'm not gonna address the other geeks, but if you guys have questions about any of the materials I used or more specific questions on how I did anything, feel free to ask in the comments below. So without further ado, I hope you all have a great week. Uh, I won't see you till after 4th of July, so happy 4th of July and happy birthday to Steve Rogers because Steve Rogers. And I will talk to you guys all next Monday. Bye! Fun story, this gun used to be pink because it was the cheapest one of this model I could find because apparently no one wants to spend a lot of money for pink guns. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, people just don't want pink guns. I don't get it. I don't I don't know.